Yo, what's good? This is your boy Josh, aka Little Sweepstakes up in the building. And we are back with a brand new video. Now, I just got done watching Miss Marvel. Um, I gotta say, like, as the entire show, like, as a whole, I don't know. I actually enjoyed it more than I did Thor Love and Thunder. Um... I was going to make a review on Thor Love and Thunder, but I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I'll ever get to it, because I'm, I'm just lazy at the moment. But uh, yeah, I decided to talk about this instead. <laughs> um, so before we get started, I do like to say that I'm currently working on something. Um, and I'll talk about this more in the future, but I'm currently working on something I've already, like, it's still in production, but I'm working on something, just, let, just letting y'all know. Uh, so... Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this uh, Miss Marvel finale. The other episodes, yeah, they were, they were, I, I enjoyed them. It felt, like in the beginning, it felt like it was a, you know, Disney type thing. But I liked it. it I liked what they did with, you know, Kamala being in high school and her being in Pakistan and stuff like that. that I, that's something I actually enjoyed. And I enjoyed the music in this show too, like... The songs are great. They actually slap. And, bro, like, <laughs> nothing more to it. All right, so let's talk about this finale. So pretty much what it was was that Miss Marvel, she got her powers. She got her suit, you know. And she was fighting the damage control guys, you know. Um, pretty much the same people from No Way Home. You you know how this goes. You, you've seen the show. Uh, yeah, pretty much. They fought and um the boy Kamran bro bro was about to kill people man <laughs> bro was gonna bite some people i'm not gonna lie I, that's what it looked like but uh yeah that's pretty much all it was really um they were creative with it too i actually enjoyed some stuff in there like they were creative with how you know they did their plans and how they executed them it was nice it was nice i actually enjoyed it um yeah, pretty much. That's what it was. Um, Kamala almost did the smooching, you know, and then Bruno interrupted. Yo, I gotta, I gotta get this out of the way. Yo, like earlier episodes, my boy Bruno was going through it, man. Like, <laughs> I, and and I don't blame him, bro. Like, bro, like, have you seen him, Mom, Lottie, bro? She is, like, come on now, she adorable, man. Like, yeah, man. Uh. Look, I'm gonna be real with y'all, bro. Like, I've got too many celebrity crushes, so like, and I'm I'm just gonna throw Mon Vellani in there. So, uh, yeah, she's in like, I I guess I got like a top ten celebrity crushes at this point. <laughs> we'll we'll talk about that another day, you know. But yeah, um, <laughs> there's something that did um that's very important, and it's about Kamala's powers. So. Towards the end of the episode, um, Bruno mentioned something about Kamala having, like, different genes and that it's mutating. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. Or I don't know if I'm correct with this. But I think that Marvel just introduced, you know, Kamala as a mutant. Like... I think Kamala's a mutant, like, and I'm pretty sure that's what other people are gonna say as well. Um, cause they, cause Bruno said something about like her powers mutating, and I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, is this how they're gonna introduce mutants in the MCU? Cause that raises some questions, like, cause if she's the first mutant in the MCU, then what does that mean for the other X Men? You know, just a little thought, but. Maybe she won't be the first mutant in history, but, like, she's the first mutant at, that we know of in the MCU at the moment. But I could be wrong. But, yeah, or maybe she's just... Well, I can't say that she's an Inhuman, because the Inhumans aren't really in the MCU, I guess. I don't know. I don't really count that show, if that, if that even was in the MCU. It, didn't, it doesn't really matter to me. But, yeah, um... Definitely some interesting stuff right there. And 
we got to talk about the post credit scene. So, pretty much what it was that the post credit scene, Kamala's bangle goes off, and it pretty much throws her in a closet, and then who comes out that closet? Freaking Carol Danvers. Carol Danvers comes out the closet. No, she's not gay. <laughs> Nah, I'm freaking, they switched places, I guess. I don't know. Whatever happened to Kamala, bro, like, man, <laughs> she she probably got lost in, like, the middle of the earth or something. Imagine, bro, you're, you know, just on your bed, and then your, your, you know, your device goes off, and then you get transferred somewhere else, and it could be in the middle of nowhere. Who really knows? But, like, yo... I don't know how they're gonna explain all this in the Marvels. To be honest, I'm kind of I'm kind of excited for it. Like, what? Being excited for a Captain Marvel sequel? Like, let me I'm gonna be real. Captain Marvel never really excited me all that much. But seeing as how Miss Marvel did, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm gonna just watch it for Miss Marvel, bro. Uh, that that's all. It's. That's all there is to it. I, I I don't really... I'm not watching it for Brie Larson. I'm not watching it for Monica Rambeau. I'm going to be honest. I'm watching it for Amon Vellani, bro. <laughs> but, but yeah, um, nah, nah, nah. Miss Marvel, as a show, I got to give it a solid 8 out of 10. It was not that bad to me. Um, and like I said before, it's kind of better than Thor Love and Thunder. I'm going to be real. Um... But I'll talk about that another day. I don't know when. I don't know. I could be lying about this, honestly. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, Miss Marvel wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. If they... No, I, I would say that if they do a season two, they're not going to do a season two. They're just going to jump right into the Marvels, which comes out next year, I think. Yeah, yeah I think it comes out next year. Either next year or 2024. Who really knows? All I know... Is that we are not done with the MCU this year. We still got a bunch of stuff coming. Uh, She-Hulk comes out next month. I might try to cover that. I don't really know. Black Panther. Um, to be honest, I don't know what to think about this one. Um, ever since Chadwick died, uh, it's raised. It's had me concerned with how they're going to do all this. You know. Truthfully, I think they should just replace Chadwick, you know, because like <sighs> Killing him off. I hope they don't do that, but they probably will and it, Yeah, I also heard that they might introduce Riri Williams in that movie Which is pretty odd. I don't know what connections or ties she has to Wakanda but I don't know. We'll see what happens though. But yeah, man um, We got a bunch of stuff coming still there's so much content for me to watch, man. I watched Peacemaker this year. The Boys, I'm caught up with that, which is a really good show. You guys should check that out. Star Wars content's done for right now. Andor comes out next month. We got The Bad Batch, and then The Mandalorian comes out next year. Probably early next year. Who really knows? But, yeah. I will talk about that more because um, there's stuff I actually want to talk about when it comes to The Mandalorian. And, uh, yeah. Um... We got some, we got some more stuff coming. We got some more stuff coming. Um, if there's one thing I want Marvel to do, I'd want them to like slow down with all the releases. Take their time with it. Cause, as you know, or if you don't know, Marvel, you know, with all these releases coming out, the editing and you know, the, the CGI doesn't look as good as it used to be. And that's a problem. So I, strongly believe that Marvel should take their time with these projects, especially the ones that are coming out next year. Um, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to talk about this show. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. 8 out of 10, like I said. So, I got nothing else really much to say, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a thumbs up, because it helps your boy out. And also, make sure you guys follow our socials in the description below, Twitch, Instagram, whatever. And also, if you want to support the channel, the PayPal is also in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.
Just waking up in the morning, got a girl, she foreign, she snoring, and her name is Lauren. Busy day to day, I have me in orange, and not the way that you if you talking born. Getting on the grind, about to make it shine, not victorious, not like I'm lying. I just stay winning, not suffering, beginning, and you'll just be crying. That's